What's up guys? I am back with another video and this time I am going to show you guys what I have purchased into my dungeon, into my collection, what other stuff I've been buying over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm very excited to uh, show you guys um, this big stack of stuff that I bought and um, hopefully you guys like it and let me know what you think about it if you've seen them or if you've seen these movies or if you've played these games that I bought um, you know leave me a comment below let me know what you think about them and um, let's see let's start with a video game that I bought um, this this one's called South Park South Park the Stick of Truth now, this I got in Best Buy for $19.99, but since I'm a member of the their rewards pro, uh, video game program, it actually came down to 15 bucks. And the reason I got this is because when the Stick of Truth came out on the PS3, PS3 was already kind of like dying and I already had a PS4, so once you get a new console, you don't really want to play the new, the new games of that old co console. But luckily enough, um, Ubisoft released it now on the PS4. So it's a, it's a re-release and it's upgraded. It has better graphics. And I'm pretty sure it has a couple of new stuff. And um, I've never played it, so I bought it um, a couple of days ago. It's called The Stick of Truth, South Park. I heard these South, Parks are, these South Park games are pretty cool, pretty fun. And it's about 14, 15 hours of gameplay. So it'll keep me entertained for a while. Um, so yeah, so not a bad, not a bad uh, game to get for 15 bucks. Um, considering that it's an old game from the old console from the PS3. There's a lot of PS3 games that have come out for the PS4. They, they've been transferred to the PS4. Um, here I got a movie. Um, called Alucardia, Aluc Alucarda, and supposedly it's a pretty satanic movie, as you can tell. And what got me here is uh, it says more blood, more more blood, loud screaming and nudity than any other movie film I can think of. And this is Michael Weldon from Psychotronic Video Guide. It says it there at the bottom. And uh, this is a 1975 a movie that it's supposed to be pretty twisted, pretty sick, pretty satanic, and uh, pretty gory, and I'm all into all of those kind of things. So I'm really excited to pop this open and watch it on my DVD player, on my PS4, or on my Xbox One, whichever. This is a release from Mondo Macabro. And it's not available on Blu-ray, so I had to pick it up on DVD. But it's pretty cool because it's a red DVD. And that's pretty badass. I don't think I have too many red DVDs on my shelf in my collection here. But, I mean, not bad. Not a bad movie to pick up. And definitely I should give it a watch. It's not that long, so I'll go by quick. 74 minutes uh, the DVD has a bunch of extras it has a, um, a documentary on the film's director interview with Hellboy director Guillermo del Toro still galleries original theatrical uh, trailer Mondo Macabro previews um, you know new digital transfer from the negative documentary on I already said that the film. So yeah, it has a it has a decent amount of special features for a DVD, and um, it's unrated. So, but this is a pretty cool cover. I mean, it's pretty twisted. And that's um, Alucarda. And um, if you notice, you take the A, this AOA, and backwards. If you put that backwards, it says Dracula. So that's pretty cool. Anyways. On to the next one. I picked up this one at Walmart. It's called Inoperable. And this stars Danielle Harris, one of my favorite actor actresses. Actually, she 
Daniel Harris, I developed a crush on her when I was about seven, eight years old. When I watched um, Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. And then she did Halloween 5 and this little girl I mean I was I was little too so but she she was so beautiful that I fell in love with her I had a crush on her and ever since I've, I've kept up with her career she's really cool Danielle Harris I've never met her but hopefully I'll meet her one day at um you know Comic Con or whatever anyways inoperable I've seen half of it um I had to stop it because it was like 3 in the morning and I had to go to sleep because I had to work the next day so yeah so I saw half of it so far. I do I I like what I've what I've been watching. It's one of those movies that that repeats itself over and over until you get it. And um, you know Danielle Harris looks you know she looks good in it. She's a great actress. She's to me she's like one of the best horror female actresses out there. And I mean for ten bucks, you know can't go wrong with it. It's not available on Blu-ray, so I had to pick it up on DVD. Uh, next up is another video game on the PS4, and this is Okami HD, and then again, this is another remastered video of a game, of, of a classic game that, that originally came out on the PS2. So this is a beautiful game, and it's called Okami HD, and it's it, it, ha it has enhanced graphics, and it has a couple new features here. Um... I remember playing this for the PlayStation 2 and it was amazing. It was a really good game. Think of Zelda, but with this werewolf. And that's basically what you're gonna get. It's like a Zelda game with your main character as a as a werewolf. Uh so this white wolf goes around, it's it's all RPG-ish, and but it's really entertaining, really fun. The graphics are stunning, they're beautiful. I haven't played it for the PS4, but I remember on the PS2 it was ahead of its time. But still, definitely recommend this if you haven't played the original one. Well, here's another game that I bought for 8 bucks at a local GameStop used. Which I have to take this. I hate these stickers. And I've heard online really good stuff about this game. Never played it. Never caught my interest. But since all these video game reviewers that I watch on YouTube and all that stuff... They say that it was really good, really fun, and it's pretty addicting. So when I, it's not available in Best Buy or Target anymore. So when I got it for eight, for when I saw it for eight bucks at a, uh, at the GameStop, I had to pick it up. And this is called uh, Tearaway Unfolded Crafted Edition. I don't know if you guys have played this one or not, but it's only on P PlayStation Two. I mean PlayStation Four. And it looks like one of those indie 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 uh, video games. It's really fun, and it's also from the creators of Little Big Planet. So you can't go wrong with this. And, I mean, if and if it sucks, all I spent was what, eight bucks on it. So definitely give that one a watch. Um, next up, I got a, the complete box set, the complete series of uh, Beetlejuice. Got this for twenty four ninety nine at a uh, Walmart. They're selling it at Walmart now. It's uh, Beetlejuice, 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 and it has all 94 episodes. I I remember the show being really entertaining, um, really funny. Um, hopefully the the they don't have it on Blu-ray, so um, that sucks. But hopefully the DVD uh, captures a better picture, better quality of it, and um, it's also um, from executive producers Tim Burton. And David Geffen, so it should be good. And it's on on three three um three different volumes, and then it's weird because on volume let me see let me see on volume one volume one you got seasons one volume one you got seasons one two and three, and then these two are season four. Season 4 part 1, season 4 part 2, so season 4 was huge. I don't know how they divide all these uh, seasons here with Beetlejuice, but it's ridiculous that season 1 has 6 episodes. Uh, well, actually, season 1 has like about 17 episodes. Then you got season 2 with like 10 episodes. 
season three with you know uh there's uh another 11 12 episodes and then you got season four has like i don't know like a hundred episodes <laughs> anyways it's kind of weird but i'm glad to all these i am a big beetlejuice fan and i'm so happy that shop factory released this box set it's not it's not crazy fancy but it's worth picking up and checking out if you're a Beetlejuice fan, you're gonna like it because it's gonna bring back memories of what beat how beat, how good Beetlejuice was. Then I got this this one that was released by um, Shout Factory as well. They they picked up the the Studio Jib, Ghibli um, um, studios, some Japanese anime, and this one's called Pom Pompoko. I haven't seen it. And it's with a slippy slip case, so I am happy about that. Um, picked it up in Best Buy for twelve ninety nine. You can't go wrong with that. And um, this is like about some bears, some weird bears that you know. I don't know. I guess I'll watch it and I'll let you guys know what it is. It's rated PG, but all these Ghibli movies are very well done. Very um, the. The definition on them is beautiful. Their storyline is beautiful. And they also have really good characters. Very memorable. This Pump Poco is from 1994. And, um, yeah, it, I, it's a two-disc two set. It's on Blu-ray and DVD, yeah, but I had to pick it up. And um, next up is another video game that I bought. Uh, to get all these stickers because they're used and I also got this one for $7.99 at my local GameStop and I'm not much of a video of, of a sports video game fanatic so this is a couple of years back and this is called MLB The Show 2016 and you know I don't I don't usually keep up with sports games but I had to get a baseball game, and for eight bucks, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna play it for. A... The thing about these games that I don't like anymore is that I, I was a big fan. I'm a big fan of like arcade baseball, like the old Ken Griffey Jr. games and the RBI baseballs, and the um, the old baseball stars for Nintendo. So when it comes like to technical games like this, like that you have to press triangle to to throw a screwball. Or X to throw a curveball, whether you want a ball or to the left, to the right. No, I'm not. I'm not used to that. I'm used to just pitching and batting and catching and not pressing all these weird buttons or to w have someone warming up in the bullpen and all that crap. Nah, I'm more into like arcade baseball games. But anyways, I'm gonna give this a shot. Everybody keeps on talking about MLB the Show and how great it is, how great of a baseball game it is. So definitely have to watch that i mean have, have to play that i i don't think i could complete a whole season of it but i'll definitely play probably play online with some friends or whatever next up is another studio ghibli movie and this is called tales from earth sea and this one has timothy dalton cheech marine william dafoe and marishka heart hearty hearty gay and this is a film by Goro Miyazaki um, from the creators of Spirit Away and Howl's Moving Castle and includes a bunch of special features it has an exclusive booklet inside and of course this again it has a slip cover I also picked it up at Best Buy for $12.99 cannot go wrong with that price um, they say that this is one of the most uh, the nicest visual um uh, uh, you know, of the of the Studio Ghibli movies, and this one I believe was from 2006. And again, Shout Factory is pulling these out. Um, I know they they've been released before by uh by Disney, I believe. I think Disney released a bunch of them, but those are out of print. They don't, they're not making those anymore. So now, um, Screen Factory, Shout Factory, um, got a hold of these and they re-released them. They gave them a beautiful artwork and. A little booklet that, that's inside of it I have yet to open but definitely um, I'm adding those to my collection another one I picked up this week and I was lucky enough to get the steel book 
This one's called Thor Ragnarok. And I actually saw this in the movie theaters. Amazing, amazing movie. I think it's the best one from the three Thor movies. It was really funny, really fun, energetic. Thor against Hulk it was a b badass scene. Um, you know, Loki, you know, Loki's always going to be badass. He, to me, he's one of the best Marvel characters out there that they have. Um, definitely one of the best villains. So this is a Steelbook edition. Um, I actually picked it up. It was the only one left. It was a bit pricey, you know, twenty seven ninety nine. I don't. I don't usually like spending more than twenty bucks on a movie, but I have to when it comes to a Marvel Steelbook from Best Buy. And um, it has a cool. Um, it's a cool presentation overall. The lettering is um, is 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 cool to, to feel them. And um, definitely an awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, I saw it in the movie theaters. Worth checking out. Even if you're not into the Thor series, it was a really, really good Marvel movie overall. Uh, next up is another video game that I got for $7.99. I just went on a $7.99 rampage. I got all the video games that I saw for 8 bucks. Hey, why not? They were cheap. And... I've never heard anything about this one, so and from the from the looks of it, it doesn't it doesn't look good at all. It looks crappy, but I'm a big fan of um, indie games, and this company called Sodesco. Um, this one's called uh, Pharaonic Pharaonic Deluxe Edition. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but it doesn't look good at all. It looks it looks like a crappy game, but I just bought it just to. Give it a try. I like cheap independent mo um, independent um, video games, and um, definitely worth worth a, a shot. To see how good it is. Then I got an old big goodie, and this is this was released by a company, a cheap company. Actually, everything they put out is really cheap, and it's called uh, the company is called Mill Creek, and the this movie is called You're the Hunter. The Hunter from the Future. Here it is. So yeah, I was actually gonna order this on Amazon for seven bucks because you know it was cheap, but I found it at Walmart and I prefer buying stuff live in person, and it was the same price, eight bucks, um, seven seven eighty eight I think it was, and of course with the slippy, you gotta love the slip covers. Yeah, so I've never seen this, but it looks like a He-Man type of shit. Looks like a barbaric type of, um, uh, like a barbarian fighting aliens and monsters and stuff. So definitely gotta watch this one, and it shouldn't go. It shouldn't drag that much. Eighty nine minutes, you know. What can you say for seven bucks? The thirty fifth anniversary edition of your, the hunter from the future. So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into with this. Another Studio Ghibli from Shop Factory here, and this one's called The Secret World of Arrietty. And this looks like a visual, fantastic movie here. Um, here we got, uh, uh, never seen this movie actually, but, you know, you can't go wrong with these Studio Ghibli movies. I'm not a big anime fan. Well, I actually like anime, but when it comes to these movies, they, they're like, they're all going to be good. So I have a huge collection of them. I probably got them all. And definitely worth a watch. Uh, the Secret World of Arrietty. Oh, this is a classic that I picked up at a, at a Walmart for five bucks. And it's from Disney. And it's Cool Runnings. Now, I can't, I can't stress how entertaining and fun this was when I was a kid. So I can't wait to watch it 20 years later. And this is, um, this is called, uh, yeah, Cool Runnings, and it was from, uh, way back in the day, it doesn't say the, the year here, but, yeah, this is, like, I don't know, like, early 90s, maybe? Yeah, it doesn't say the year. But, um, yeah, it, it, it stars on John Candy, and, yeah, Cool Runnings, definitely awesome, awesome movie from Disney, um, Definitely worth checking out, and for five bucks, for sure, why not buy it? I, it's not available on the on Blu-ray, 
which is a shame they should have it on blu-ray but disney they have a bunch of stuff that is not on blu-ray then i had to pick this up because it's from robert de niro my favorite actor and i do have the dvd copy of this but i have to upgrade for seven bucks in best buy i had to pick it up uh, five Academy Awards, including Best Picture of 1978. This is called The Deer Hunter. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I highly, highly recommend you watch it. It's a really, really fantastic movie. And, you know, it's rated R and it has your, your, you know, it has uh, Christopher Walken in it. Christopher Walken in it. It has Meryl Streep, John Savage. Really recommend it. If you haven't watched this, it's a bit long. It's a bit long. Um, I don't know. Oh, three hours and four minutes. Yeah, I, I remember it was a long movie. But it's definitely worth a watch. If you got three hours of your life to spare and you want to watch this, definitely give it a watch. It's a 1975, it's a 1978 classic um, war movie with Robert De Niro. So, you know, it has to be good. I picked this one up. At Walmart for 15 bucks. Best Buy has it for 30 something dollar, 37 I believe. And this is the Planet of the Apes Legacy Collection. And what this brings, it brings a, it's a five disc set, and it has five movies with uh of Planet of the Apes, which um you know I don't know if you guys know, but Planet of the Apes started in the 60s, and this this set. Um, it's pretty cool. I haven't opened it yet, but it does include the original Planet of the Apes, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Escape from Planet of the Apes, Conquest of Planet of the Apes, and Battle for the Planet of the Apes. So it has the five first original movies before they started doing all these new ones, like, um, you know, the Dawn of Planet of the Apes and, and all the new ones that, that they, they, they've been putting out, which those are really good too. But people f tend to forget the original ones, which were really, really good. And here you have the, the, the list of the movies there. They're all rated G, so they're, you know, I think one of them is PG, but they're mostly all G. So, but they, it says that there's a bunch of, um, out of this world Blu-ray extras, but I really don't know until I open it. And, um, definitely for 15 bucks, you can't go wrong. You're paying less than $3 per movie. So I, I, for sure, I had to pick this up. This is the Planet of the Apes box. Well, it's not a box set, but yeah, it's kind of like a box set, but thing. And um, it includes all five original, the movies from the 60s and 70s. Then I got Takashi Miki's uh, Blade of the Immortal. Here, I got it here on Blu-ray at Best Buy. Um, this is, it says that it's Takashi Miki's, uh, 100th film, and I actually appreciate that Best Buy took the time and effort to make it into a steelbook. Not too many people bought it, it was still, there, when I went to the store, there were still like seven or eight left of them, so, I mean, by all means, it's not, it's not that, it's not popular at all, but for collectors like myself and collectors around they will appreciate this. It's a really good film. I haven't seen it yet, but if it's a Takashi Miki film, it has to be really good. All his, not all his movies, but most of his movies are really fantastic. And I, I don't know how it could go wrong with Blade of the Immortal. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm definitely going to watch it sometime this week. And uh, next up here, it's a horror movie I got at Walmart called Keep Watching. And I just like the cover art. Look at that cover art. But yeah. Um, it's a rated R movie. And I read the back of it. And I liked what I read. So I'm going to check it out. You know. And I like all these horror movies that, that Walmart puts up every now and then. Um, they're actually like 10 bucks each. Some of them are 12 .99, But what I do like about Walmart is that they, they actually try to, you know, put extra... Um, DVDs out there for you guys to um, enjoy and buy and watch because they're not the typical same shit that you see at Best Buy and Target. They're different. And 
these this is not available on blu-ray so i have to pick it up on dvd next one i got here is living among us and this looks like a pretty cool vampire story vampire movie and it's another independent horror film and here you go this is the back and it has um james russo in it william william sadler um andrew keegan john hurt is in it so it's definitely uh a, 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 a must watch that i am gonna pretty much watch it sometime between today and tomorrow anyways this is a living among us is a vampire movie i'm i'm a sucker for vampire movies i really enjoy vampire movies and the last thing i'm going to show you guys in this pickup video is uh the my chuck norris uh triple threat collection here and the reason i got this is because it had no price at walmart and when i scanned it it, it read five bucks and you can't go wrong with this because it has missing in action one missing in action two and my favorite action film of the 80s or possibly of all time missing in action three braddock missing in action three with chuck norris 1988 is probably my favorite movie of all time or actually my favorite action movie of all time i remember watching that as a kid over and over and over again countless of hours watching braddock missing in action three so here i got all three films for five bucks i do believe i have part one on blu-ray somewhere around there but i don't have part three i don't owe part three and i really want to watch part three so i just picked it up just to get part three because at the screen factory or even on amazon part three the screen factory release is like 30 bucks so i, I don't know if i want to spend 30 bucks on it but i'll definitely spend five bucks on the dvd version here and it brings all three of them and this is also released by shop factory so mad props to them for putting this dvd set out and mad props to walmart for having it for five bucks anyway anyways guys i hope you like my um my recent pickups of the last couple of weeks and i hope you have a good time watching these videos let me know what you think about them comment down below subscribe um and um i'll catch you guys next time bye